All right, so let's go over the only thing you have to understand in order to make good trap melodies. You just have to understand the concept of tension because tension is what creates that dark, ominous feeling, kind of creepy. And that's how a lot of these producers, really talented guys, make their dark trap melodies. So let's just get into what you have to know how to do that and the important things you need to take away from this video. So let's go ahead and just open up an FL keys. We can just right click here, go to insert, and we'll just insert an FL keys. And we'll get into going over this concept. So the only real music theory thing you need to understand is how to build a basic minor chord. And you do that by just placing a note anywhere. So I'll pick C sharp because I really like the key of C sharp. And then we'll just skip two notes place it on the third, skip three notes from here. So one, two, three, four, place it on the fourth. Right, and so that's a minor chord and that's great. And what you do from here to use the concept of tension is that duplicate this over by using control plus B here, or you would be using command plus B if you were on a MacBook. And so right now you have two one minor chords and all you do is just drop this middle note down. And this is going to make a creepy dark melody because of the tension that is in between these two notes that are different and that's like the whole concept if you get that and you know that you have to do that you can technically click off but if you still need a little bit of like you know if you want to expand on it go ahead and stick around because it does get better that's basically all you need to know this isn't the only chord progression you need to know but conceptually speaking it's the only concept you need to know because if you can apply that then you can apply this in anywhere right and so from there it just becomes how do you want to build your melody so we could say okay maybe i don't just want straight up chords even you could just use straight up chords but let's say you don't want to do that and i will link anything i'm using down in the description below free stuff paid stuff i'll mostly try to stick to free stuff though so right we don't need that anymore. That can just be like our little outline. And from here, you can build something cool. So let's just arpeggiate this. So from here, it really is just about how you put the sounds together. So I'm just taking a couple of one shots that I used and mixing them down. That's all I'm doing is tossing on some effects. And we can voice this chord, which is basically just, you know, creating different variants of a chord, right? So this is one version of the chord. And then you can change the same note, right? Just different octave. So say it's the same chord, right? And that's chord voicing is just, you know, Another music theory thing that you don't really need to know, you just need to know that it works and it can make your melody sound cool. So, you know, we cover more frequencies that way and then we can even just strum that. Cool. Maybe some chorus. Cool, yeah, no, I like that. Okay, now here's where we really wash it out. So what we'll do is we'll come to this cathedral preset. We'll increase the wet, get rid of that bass. We don't really want to put bass in our uh, reverb. <laughs> and then we'll just reduce this dry so that we really only get that reverb wet signal coming through. And that's just nice and washed out and ambient. Yeah, that sounds really good. All right, so let's just do some quick drums real quick and then we can get into the other chord progression that I really want to show you guys that will really kind of drive home this whole like concept of tension and how it creates like these dark kind of vibes that ATL producers use to make really dope beats. So 
let us get into building kind of this other chord progression that I think really demonstrates this whole concept of tension and why it's able to evoke these kind of like dark emotions and these really dope HDL like trap melodies and beats and stuff like that. So, so again, we're just going to duplicate this over and we're just going to do a couple of different half steps and I'm going to, I'm going to talk really quickly through each of these. So the first one is you're just going to come to the bottom note and you're going to move it up one. Then you're going to come to this middle note and you're going to move it up two and that's just because in this instance, that's what will create tension. Sometimes it's a half step, which is just moving up one note. And sometimes it's a full step, which is moving up two notes. And so half step, full step on that second note. And then on the third one, this top layer note, we're just going to move it up one. And boom, there's our chord progression. And again, we can do some chord voicing with that. And go ahead and just... Right. And so now we can just basically bring this again. It's just based off of tension. If you know what notes make tension, if you know what chord progressions make tension, you can even take like both of these chord progressions we just made, right? And put them together. You can take different elements of each one and put them together. Once you understand tension, it just opens the door. It's what these trap producers, these trap kind of melody makers are. It's what they're, it's the technique that they're exploiting, right? Cool. So then we could like, let's just now just have some fun, right? We could like export that. Let's see what that sounds like reverse. Ooh, that sounds dope. It's hard. <laughs> Not even gonna lie to you, bro. I cannot believe I had the limiter on this entire time, bro. Ugh, I gotta change my templates on fucking FL21, bro. I'm too lazy. It's unbelievable. It's criminal. Wow, that was what was crushing my sounds. Make sure that you don't have the shitty limiter on your master, bro. Man, uh, soft clipper, that's a little bit of extra sauce for you. The soft clipper is gonna make your stuff just sound louder. <clears throat> louder, excuse me, especially if you're using like clean, really, really clean sounds. And uh, yeah, like I really hope this helped you out. If it did, consider subscribing to the channel um, because I wanna keep making content that's gonna help you out. I'd love to have you see it. If you would like to learn deeper on this concept of half steps and how to make dark melodies, check out this tutorial on the screen right now. I love you. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.